So I've had this axe for a few years now trying to figure out exactly what to do with it. I got it here at a local swap meet in Oklahoma City for five bucks, and with Halloween right around the corner, why not make a zombie axe? First I had to remove the axe head and it was a bit stubborn because of how old and rusted it was. I didn't know what I wanted the axe to look like initially, so I sketched out a few shapes to get a better idea of what direction to take it in. With the axe head cleaned up, I sketched out the spike shape on the back of the axe and cut it out with an angle grinder. I'm using this old saw blade to add the remainder of the spike and again I can just cut this out with an angle grinder before welding it onto the axe head. For the handle, I wanted something unique, so I'm using these skateboard veneers, which I had to cut down into two inch strips. I'm going to bend these strips around a form to create voids I can fill with epoxy and the centipedes, so I made these templates on my CNC machine. This process is called bent lamination and it creates a really strong final piece. I added some wood glue to each strip before bending around the form and adding a bunch of clamps. Making the handle went surprisingly smooth as I continued to add more layers about 10 at a time. The main concern was keeping everything straight along the length, which I did by alternating the clamping pressure. Also the handle blank has to be much wider than the axe will end up to account for the taper at the top of the handle where it meets the axe head. Okay, now it's time to hydrate and pose these two centipede specimens. First I soak them in water for about 6 hours which makes them pliable enough to pose and pin. This guy has about 50 legs and each one has to be posed individually and pinned in place. Before pouring the epoxy into the voids, I used some silicone to create a leak proof barrier between the axe handle and the table. I mixed up some of this Total Boat High Performance Epoxy and I'll have links for this and everything else I'm using down below. I 
pour this epoxy into the voids about a quarter of an inch at a time, and once I had about a half of an inch of epoxy, I added the two centipedes. An hour later, I added a few more layers of epoxy on top of the centipedes to cover them up completely. I let the epoxy cure for an entire day and used the old axe handle to transfer the shape before cutting it out on the bandsaw. This oscillating sander is the best tool for shaping the handle and rounding over the edges, but man, it creates a ton of dust. Next, I need to carve a radius to seat the axe head onto the axe handle. And first, I used a draw knife to get the rough shape and this works really good for removing a lot of material fast. Next, I could use this little block plane to refine the shape before switching to this rasp. And this rasp allows me to sneak up on the shape I need without removing too much material. I finished shaping the remainder of the handle with a rasp and a lot of hand sanding. I found these micro mesh sanding pads to sand the epoxy smooth and these go all the way up to 12,000 grit which creates a glass like polish. I sharpened the axe head good enough where it would shave hair, but this axe is meant for zombie skulls and not shaving. This cut into the top of the handle allows me to seat the axe head and glue in a wedge which holds it in place. Last, I cut off the excess link from the handle, and now it's zombie hunting time. I'd like to take a second to thank my Patreon supporters who make these videos possible. And if you're interested in joining, there's information on that down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos, especially the next video where I'm hand forging a knife and putting a spider in the handle. Oh, 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 oh